Remember that a semicolon is just a period. So even though it looks like these transitions are kind of in the middle of a sentence, they're really not. It's it's kind of like we've ended a sentence and now we have a new sentence. So we're basically treating this the same as we always do, though we're looking at contrasting uh, this part here to this part here, or not necessarily contrasting, but just, just comparing, I guess, or transitioning between those two. Still, we should read everything. Plato believed material objects to be crude representations of unseen ideal forms. In his view, such abstract non-material forms are the ultimate source of knowledge. Aristotle disagreed, positing that knowledge is best obtained through direct engagement with the material world. Sensory experience of the material is the ultimate source of knowledge. There's that word ultimate, which means final, which we saw kind of in the last question. But regardless, um, what's going on here? Well, I do think it feels a little bit like a contrast because we have this disagreement. But remember, we've got to focus on the two words that I, the two sentences that I kind of bracketed off here. So it's not a contrast between those two parts of the Aristotle sentence. Aristotle disagreed, positing, meaning um, believing or putting it forward, that knowledge is best obtained through direct engagement with the material world. Sensory experience of the material is the final source of knowledge. So that's not a contrast. That is a repetition of what Aristotle believes. So that means we can get rid of the but words like regardless and meanwhile. It also involves time a little bit, but um, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, still kind of a contrast. Um, then, admittedly, you might not know. Uh, in other words, though, means exactly what it sounds like. We're going to say the exact same thing in other words, and that's kind of what's happening here, right? And Aristotle says, knowledge is best obtained through direct engagement with the material world. So what would direct engagement be? Sensory experience of the material world is the ultimate source of knowledge. Literally, it's just saying the exact same thing, but rearranging the words, maybe slightly changing them. But this is as clear cut a case of, uh, in other words, as I've ever seen on the SAT. Admittedly, I do believe is kind of also a but word. Right, it almost feels like we're, um, it's almost like the word granted. Uh, it reminds me of that. It's a way of saying like, maybe what I just said doesn't count. Um, so I, I don't know a good situation when that would be correct. It just feels like an odd thing to say. Um, like, okay, um, you know, maybe we would say, uh, I'm, a, I'm afraid of heights, admittedly, I've never been tall, higher than a four-story building, right? Like, you know, maybe I'm not afraid of heights. Maybe I, I'm just making that up because I've never actually been up high. You know what I mean? Like, that could be a situation where we use that, where we're kind of admitting that what we just said maybe isn't true. Uh, but again, this, this isn't a contrast here. It, it, it just feels weird as well. So hopefully you, rather than worrying about the words that weren't right, you were able to prove choice C was correct because that is one that just means exactly what it says. In other words, means we're saying the same thing. In other words.